Loose Music Monday is the Death Sad Phone Cry Sad 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 Edition with JYJ's In Heaven. Okay, so this is a really pretty song. The lyrics are moving and the singing is fantastic. The focus of the song isn't the beat or the catchy hook, it's really the talent that JYJ has for singing. Their harmony, the passion, the quivering emotional voices. I can really appreciate the beauty of the song. However, it is a ballad and therefore it just doesn't do it for me. It does for me. <laughs> I think it would be like utterly perfect for a TV drama or like a movie soundtrack. It would be the saddest movie ever! <laughs> I mean, I can 100% appreciate why other people love this song. But when it comes to ballads, I think I'm just like an unmovable block of stone. <laughs> okay, I wasn't really that moved by the song. The chorus was really pretty, but sad songs and sad movies and sad music just aren't my thing anymore. Ever since Martina read The Time Traveler's Wife, we've put a ban on all sad things in our house. Why would you remind me of that book again? She was a wreck for weeks. Okay, so here's our brief rundown. Workaholic businessman Junsu ignores his artsy fartsy girlfriend too much, so she decides to end her life by walking out into traffic, which traumatizes some poor innocent driver. Nice. But time rewinds and Junsu is able to make things right. Indeed, this time around they are happier. But come death anniversary day, still both of them end up accidentally dying. The ending though suggests something happy. They both end up together in heaven, which uh, turns out to be a mountaintop in Seoul. Um, we've been there before, we had like a photo shoot, and let me tell you, heaven has a lot of mosquitoes. A lot. Finally, we don't have any complaints about the understandability of the plot. It makes perfect sense. We just wish that Junsu had prepared a little bit better for the day of doom. I mean, look at his calendar. What's he got written there? Let's see. Call home decorator on the 16th, go to a party on the 19th, watch my girlfriend die on the 21st, and ooh, on the 23rd, I'm going to brunch with Jeju. We're gonna go to that little diner with the blueberry pancakes. They're so delicious. I mean, I think of all days to take off or to call in sick, the 21st. The day that your girlfriend died, remember? You circled in the red? Yeah, I think that's the day you should take off. Nope, I understand. You're saving those sick days for a vacation that you could take with your girlfriend, who's supposed to die before you could cash in on them. Fine, go to work and potentially let your girlfriend die. Again. If I was Jutsu though, and for some reason I had to go to work, I would have put in some preventative measures first. Um, Simon, have you seen any of my shoes? What? No, that's weird. I guess you should just stay home today. <coughs> Guard these with your life, boy. Oh, I have to pee. It's okay. That's what all the blankets are for. But, They'll absorb oh, it all. No. It's okay, shh. Here you go, love. I got your morning coffee. That's so sweet, honey. Oh, really Thanks. Nice. Yeah. It's really fresh. I know. Mm. Or... Roofied! Okay, but then again, maybe we don't know the whole story, right? Maybe Jun has been ignoring her for a long time and this missed call is just what makes her snap. I get that. But then, if we go back to the happy alternative universe, something really suspicious happens. Right before she leaves the house, she forgets her phone. You know what? Korea is like the cell phone capital of the universe. There is not a single Korean person, let alone Korean woman, that would leave their cell phone at home. I mean, there are like a million other things that they would forget over leaving their phone at home. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, we get it. So she's got headphones on so she can't hear Junsu screaming at her or the cars honking at her or the other people on the street screaming at her not to cross the street. But she's not blind, right? She can see that little green man blinking across the street telling her to walk or not, right? Plus, weren't there like six different people at the crosswalk with her and they all walked before her? Or did she just open her eyes from daydreaming about her sunflower and not notice that everybody had already crossed the street? Well, if the other six people did make it across safely, then that last guy is definitely dead too. Unless he sprints like Usain Bolt across 10 freaking lanes of traffic, which probably should have set off some alarm bells in her head, but no, she's too busy staring at her sunflower. Jinsu, I think she's cheating on you with the sunflower. Which leads to our final point. You've only crossed 
one lane of traffic when you see that first car dodge you. I think that was your gentle hint to take one single step back into that empty lane behind you. That probably would have prevented that second car from killing you. But nope, she just drops her flower and raises her hand before the other car actually crosses the intersection. Oh no, the first car almost hit me, but now there's another car that's about to hit me. I might as well just sit here and wait for it to hit me. Okay, so maybe you think we're being a little bit harsh on her, but come on here. She grew up in Korea. There are two things that cars do in Korea. Number one, they drive. Number two, they try to kill you. Just spend one month living in Korea and you'll learn that green light or not, you look both ways before crossing the street, even if it's a one-way street. Walking out onto a street in Korea obliviously is like playing Russian roulette with five bullets instead of one. And if that's not reason enough to be harsh on her, she also takes Junsu with her. That's not cool. And then she also killed that innocent sunflower. The heck. As for the English of the song, there is no English of the song, so we're gonna give this a different rating. As for the pickles of the song, we give this a... 5 out of 5. Seriously, did you take a look at what Junsu has in his fridge? What the hell does he ever eat? Take a look, he's got like 5 jars of pickles, some mustard, water, and juice. Both times he opens up his fridge and he only pulls out water. Probably because there's nothing else to eat in there apart from pickles. we asked you which Disney song you preferred, FX's Pinocchio or You Kiss's Neverland. And it was a little bit close at first, but in the end, You Kiss definitely took it. I'm just happy that they weren't flying around on screen in skin tight tights. Labyrinth style, like Bowie. For this week's Death Sad Phone Cry Sad 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 Edition, we asked you which video was sadder. 2AM's You Wouldn't Answer My Calls or JYJ's In Heaven. Leave your votes in the comments or in our Facebook poll and we'll announce the winners next week. Also, thanks everybody who voted for JYJ this week. If there's a video you want to see us do for next week's K-Pop Music Mondays, head on over to eatyourkimchi.com slash requests and tell us who we should do a video for.